Hey everybody, this is um, our independent reading overview and I just want to give you some information about the expectations this week for independent reading. So as I said in the welcome video, you might be at a different place with your book than someone else in our class. At this point, you should have a Holocaust book that you've either wrapped up or are in the process of wrapping up. So when you finish that, you need to complete the reflection that is listed on Schoology. It's a graded assignment. It's part of marking period three. But for a lot of students, because I've been watching them come in, thank you if you completed that already, you're already done if you finished that book and you did that reflection. So move on. Pick a new book. Um, that can be any book that you choose. I'm going to list some links in here for you that you can access. Um, all different kinds of free books that are online. But feel free to also, you know, browse around your house. See what you can find. We're going to be flexible. Flexible learning, right? Um, but I ask that this week you do some reading, at least 30 minutes of reading, and that you post for me a reflection, a journal. And there's a place to do that with an assessment in this folder. I ask in that journal that you talk about a major event that happens in your book that pushes the plot forward. And I'm going to talk to you a little bit about my book. So right now I'm reading a book that's called The Sweet Hereafter by Russell Banks. Um, it is also a movie. I have not seen the movie. Um, I'm sure it's not as good as the book because that's usually how it goes. Um, but it's about um, a bus accident, a very tragic accident that happens with a school bus. Um, and so that is the event that I would talk about in my book if I was going to be writing that journal, how that accident kind of pushes people into um, each other's stories. And it's a book that's told from a lot of different points of view. So it sets up people's reactions in their points of view to the events that are occurring because of the bus accident and all of the ramifications of that incident. So the way that people look at it, but also the way that um, it kind of changes their stories. So that's definitely something for you to think about as you're preparing your journal. What are the big events in your story that are changing things? Again, if you have trouble finding a book, let me know. If you're still reading your Holocaust book, do this journal about that book. Don't feel like you need to juggle two books at the same time, okay? We're going to make it work. But please let me know if you're stuck and you need help because I definitely can help you to find books that you are interested in, even though the library is closed and Amazon might not deliver as quickly as you'd like. Okay, so reach out to me, keep me in the loop, and I look forward to reading your journals soon. Bye.